What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at BotCon 2012 box set Turbo Tracks. Um, I think he's supposed to be in the Shadow Glass universe, but don't really give two craps about Shadow Glass. Um, you do see he does have the very cool Screaming Eagle on the hood, even though it's not exactly a Screaming Eagle. But it's close enough to you know what it's supposed to be. Um, as you can tell, he is a repaint of uh, Tiger Tracks. So it's the same vehicle mode, just a much cooler paint job, uh, much nicer red. Um, the red doesn't come across as nice on camera. It looks more like an orangey, but it is a very nice red. Uh, the very cool Screaming Eagle painted on the front, on the uh, on the hood there. Um, these aren't stickers; these are all paints painted on. The stripe, very cool uh, purple bits on the the uh, under the doors. I don't know what the heck you call them, runners, I guess running boards that become weapons later. Um, he is, you know, identical to the track mold. Uh, we, we took a look at Wheeljack not that long ago. So you've seen this guy already. It does roll very nice. Um, not going to show the transformation because you've already seen it. It's the exact same transformation. Uh, the only difference is the legs are, are rotated around. And you'll see that in just a second in robot mode. So yeah, let's just take a quick second here and transform him. And uh, we'll take a look at him in robot mode. All right, so here we have him, Turbo Tracks, transformed in robot mode, and as you can see, he is very red and purple. Uh, I do actually really like the paint scheme. The uh, purple bits are basically normally white or silver on the other figures. Uh, take a look at his face. Cool looking face. Uh, the wings are purple. Uh, they do have these cool new paint apps. All these. All this would have been unpainted on the regular, uh, regular release toy. Uh, kneecaps have coloring. The gun is purple now. Uh, the forearms have some cool detail. And these gold and red bits. Just overall very cool looking, uh, looking figure. He does like to collapse in on himself very easily. He doesn't seem to want to lock, but you can do uh, mold degradation happens. Uh, you can see the legs are flipped the other way around. Uh, like I said, they like to, like I said when I did uh, Wheeljack, they like to, uh, with this mold, change the legs up to differentiate the figures. Uh, since this is a tracks figure, I do leave the wings up. That wheel doesn't like to come all the way around. I'm noticing all these little things. Yeah, that's what happens with mold degradation. They've used this mold so many times. It tends to get a little wonky after a little while. Uh, yeah, but the colored scheme does look uh, very cool together. All the posability as uh, Wheeljack or any other, anybody else with this uh, from this mold. It's very human in here. Very sticking to everything. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, like the normally on like Wheeljack, these would be the fronts of the legs. Are they locked? Yeah, they're locked. But uh, to differentiate them, they switch them around. Done it before. They'll probably do it again if they keep using this mold. But yeah, he is very cool looking. I do totally dig his colors. Um, he's, he's, I think he's one of my favorite from the box set. Because I do really like the mold. Um, just is very cool looking overall. Uh, I think the purple works really good. Uh, it does look a little funky on the gun, but at least it goes with everything. I think it would have been cool if they gave him purple rims. Just a nice little extra little touch since you know, all the other purple bits are basically hidden. It would have been a nice little touch to give you a hint of what was inside. But yeah, overall very cool. Uh, like I said, same posability, same articulation, same as uh, anybody else with this mold. Um, the only difference is his crotch is red because normally the black would be in the front, but you uh, rotate him at the rotate him 180 at the waist to get these to part the legs to be the front, and uh, for this guy. But yeah, he's very cool. Um, like I said with Metal Hawk, I wouldn't go out and get him individually because getting these guys individually is very expensive. And getting the box set is very expensive, so if you don't have if you don't have the box set already, I really wouldn't go out of my way to get it. But if you do have it, or you know, you know, somebody that's selling one, you know, selling the whole box set for a fair price, you know, this guy is definitely one of the guys that are worth it. Uh, so yeah, you also see the duck feet. So the these bits become the heel now. Like in Wheeljack, it was reversed. These were the heels. But yeah, there we have. Or a look at BotCon 2012 box set Turbo Tracks.